Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Um, Something could be significant about the next seven to 10 days or something has happened within the last seven to 10 days or months, weeks or whatever. Um, But the number 10 is obviously about completion. And this card number seven is a community card. So this morning, again, going back to the whole Achilles heel thing, it also made me, um, your Achilles heel is what will be considered as um, God's secret weapon. Um, because God uses everything in our lives, of course, to help us recognize his power. Okay. So whatever you see as a weakness or what other people have seen as a weakness in you is actually your greatest strength. Um, this is what happens so that you can be prepared for your destined life to really walk in purpose with your birthright. Okay. So, even when you think about the Achilles heel, it also brought me to the story about Esther. And I have a reading that I did several months ago, maybe even a year ago, where it was it was about, I, I literally was talking about the story of Esther, but it was about being tested, tried, and proven it's true. And, you know, in the Bible, even like with Esther, she... I guess in the story, in order, she had been chosen, but in, it's like her Achilles heel was the fact that if she were to approach the king without being summoned, then she was automatically going to meet her own death, right? So her weakness, though, it led to her pretty much save, like saving, I guess, all of the Jews, right? So... Again, it's like for many of you, you have felt like you were indeed the sacrifice. And this energy is always very potent like this um, because there's a lot of karmic situations that are ending. Like I always say, like Air Aries season, Libra full moon, there's a lot happening. So I got up this morning and I'm just like, what is this about? What is my Achilles? And I know what mine is. Everybody knows what it is. But I had said in a reading two or three days ago, I said, don't allow love to be your vice. A lot of us, you know who've been on this journey, we have voids um, from situations and heartbreak or whatever from childhood, uh, past life trauma, whatever. And it leads to us having certain voids that can later become a vice if you are not careful. But I, I really was praying and meditating on this today. And that's why I didn't do a reading. And I'm like, so this Achilles heel thing, golly, what are you starting to say? And I think that what God is saying is that for so many people, like I said, you loving people, you staying in the light, you staying close to God. For many people, they have frowned upon you for living a set apart life. And, you know, if you've been following my channel a few days ago, this distorted energy is being cleared out or a lot of people are just beginning to recognize, which automatically kind of clears things out and dismantles um spell work manipulation groups cults covens or whatever simply becoming aware a lot of people their idea of what success is what it means to be happy what it means to have joy um uh, what it means to be a person of value it's very distorted okay so again i i, I kept praying and, and spending the day meditating on that and i kid you not um, I literally, I was like, God, like, give me a sign, give me a sign. And what I looked at the TV. Now, this is a TV that's in my home that has not, I haven't watched TV in, in weeks, but I looked at the, I took a screenshot here. I look and I'll post this, post it on the community board. But if you see here, it literally says ritual killer 50 to one. And I, I can't remember exactly what was next to it. Okay, so there's like NCIS here, Ritual Killer 50 to 1 and Summer House. Okay, I'm going to post this on my community board. But I, I was like, God, I need a sign because, like I said, this message, it could be just for me. But I feel like it will, it will resonate with a lot of people. So that's why I'm sharing it. So if you, 
again, here you see it says ritual killer in 50 to 1. And I was like, wow. Because I recently, um, I don't watch TV, but I, I go to the movies from time to time. And I did recently see the movie Creed and John Wick 4. And I was talking about um, recently like gang stalking and other things. And literally, I, I don't know what this movie or show is, but it says 50 to 1 in Ritual Killer. I've never even known like <laughs> shows or movies could have certain titles. So I was like, wow. So really what, what God is saying is that your Achilles heel, it, it's killing um, some type of ritual. It's causing something to be completely dismantled, um, reversed, sent back to sender. In other words, you're protected and this is going to free you for some. It's freeing your bloodline or whatever. But whatever the shift is, is it's really major and it's incredibly beautiful. And um, so I, I thought about that. And then I went out today um, about roses and you see they're pink. These were some of the most beautiful roses I've seen. And I was like, wow, like I think that. So many people have had to go through um, these hardships in life, but it has made a lot of us bloom and blossom where we're planted and like with pink. Interestingly enough, you know, th that represents a lot of love, but especially self-love. Um, your ability to love yourself, your ability to realize that no matter what has happened to you, you are not damaged goods. Um, the fact that you are not playing victim, but you are recognize recognizing the fact that you have been victimized in certain situations is what is leading you to being the king or the queen in your kingdom okay queendom whatever and so it was interesting because last night i was up late and there was this terrible thunderstorm that came about and recently throughout times when it storms i'm so so at peace and i just feel i was like something is being torn up so I'm, i know i'm rambling to give thank you for these this 10 minutes of talk time because i know there's something in this message that'll help someone but i kid you not I, I went out today and i was driving and i got off of an exit and it was like i was merging with someone it was like a yield and then the lane was merging off of an exit you guys now i'll admit um i was in a different area and i could have probably yielded more as i got onto the um exit but somebody literally you know obviously it it's, it's upsetting anytime, you know, there's a, sometimes we consider, you feel like you've been violated in traffic. Somebody followed me for 10 minutes today to the point that I realized this person was following me and I pulled over into a residential area. I kid you not, this person pulled up to me and literally told, was like, you need to learn how to drive and yield and da da da. I mean, this, part, this lady was so angry and upset. Um, and it really just made me realize because I was like, wow, for you to be that angry, okay? But I also think about how, um, I, and I, I thought about it all day. I was like, wow, she was really angry. And I just politely looked at the person and I was just like, you know, you're following me. And I, I literally, I was like, you know, I apologize, <laughs> you know, but you literally follow me. This could be my home that you're following me to. And at this point, this is harassment, you know, and the truth is in those types of situations, whether you're at fault or not, no matter what side you're on, you don't know how another person will react or respond to that situation. That situation could have gotten really, really bad for her or, or myself because of her decision to allow her lack of self-control to follow me, you know? But as I thought about it all day, I thought about how so many of us have dealt with gang stalkers and stuff like that. This energy right now, it just shows you how people are so angry when they can't get you to react. They can't get you to respond. They can't get you to go where they want you to go, do what you what they want you to do. And, and it was very interesting because I would consider my channel. It's it's small, but it's a it's, it's growing. But off camera, you know, my 
career life, personal life, um, I, I don't have any complaints. And this particular person, you know, this lady, she rolled out her window and, you know, she was in her, her Range Rover and you could just tell she, she carried this, um, this air about herself as if like, I can control you. You know, you, this, this woman followed me for 10 minutes. You think about following someone, getting, I got off of the interstate. This person, she followed me into a residential area. Can you, you can only imagine red lights and everything. She followed me. And I just thought to myself, I was like, wow, a lot of people are really in for a very rude awakening. And then I thought about the Achilles heel thing and what I saw on my TV with the 50 to 1 and the ritual killer. And it's interesting because now I haven't touched these cards. You, if you follow my channel, you haven't seen these cards in a few weeks. You have community and storm warning. There's a storm coming. Loud truck, right? <laughs> There's a storm warning coming from these people who have been attacking chosen ones, divine unions, spirit babies, or whatever. Um, obviously here, there's a, a strong life force energy about you that other people are trying very hard to destroy. Um, or they want to steal it and use it for themselves. A lot of you are under very serious attacks because... You have a very caring connection with someone either in your life or that's about to enter your life. The Achilles heel for a lot of people, it is love. It's the fact that no matter how bad your heart has been broken, you're still capable of loving. You have not sold your soul to work for the dark side. You're not, you've not decided to be an agent of the devil. You have not decided to... Um, you know, be mean, angry, or to project negative energy onto people. And so because of this angel strength, because of your strength and your courage, you're receiving victory here. Um, I feel very much at peace and at ease. And I know that there's a lot of spiritual attacks happening right now with the full moon. And honestly, I think that the collective, a lot of you, again, it's the Achilles heel. The thing that you think has made you weak or the thing that these communities have felt was going to make they, they thought made you so weak, which of, honestly was your ability to love unconditionally and to keep the faith is the reason why these these energies, they can no longer survive. The temple path is here in the reverse, and then you have hostilities in the reverse. The world is here in the reverse, but rest and rejuvenation is here. I feel like a lot of you, you can rest and rejuvenate. It's time for you to really go within and heal from whatever type of heartbreaking situation there's been or that's what you're doing. Um, you could be around the age of 35 to 50. Don't have to be. Um, some of you, something significant could have happened to you between the age of 9 or 19. Whatever the case is, though, take time out to truly, truly allow yourself to process how you think, how you feel, and to heal. Some of you, there's been a lot of things happening to you or you've been in this cycle, your temple path, your... Um, People, I feel, have been trying to ruin this. It's like there's karmic cycles that have closed out. And you have these people with the hostilities card being here in the reverse. The way that I see it is that it's not um, a, a situation where people are at peace. This is people, I feel, who are completely out of control. They have become absolutely obsessed with ensuring that you do not have any type of security or stability. And that you will um, always and forever allow your inner child wounds, like I said, your voids and your vices to get the best of you. But instead, many of you, you have walked away from these situations. And now that you've walked away, a lot of people, they understand that they will not get to walk through the door to any type of personal healing, happiness, romance, value, or anything else with you. You have here a woman holding a coin and the thinking woman in the reverse here. So for some of you, as I said, I think in the reading, the day before yesterday this jezebel spirit and jezebel's daughter this has been running just wild in the collective where this is a shape-shifting energy it's here to rob steal kill and destroy a lot of people especially who are chosen for like kingdom marriages especially it's like you're battling against these spirits because yeah you are meant to be generational curse breakers you are meant to be um able to experience true love you know 
and people they have it, it's like these are these are entities these are principalities that you are working against these are communities of people who are literally obsessed with you um and trying to destroy your light the sun here somebody here does not want you to have this this beautiful aura or this halo around you and they don't want anyone to see you because a lot of you you do you have a man holding a coin here that wants to go on a journey to having a very happy family with you where there's blossoming abundance and you yourself could be a healer or a light worker you don't have to be but you are most likely someone who's a very powerful manifester and there's someone here who has cut their path completely short the sun being in the reverse woman holding a coin and the thinking woman, someone here, they can't think clearly. They can't process information. They can't manifest. They're most likely having financial issues. They're projecting this energy onto you, okay? Because this is what they are experiencing. So someone is most likely hiding the fact that they are experiencing some type of hardship or these are groups of people who are experiencing a lot of hardship because of the fact that they are so jealous, hateful, and envious. And... They can't seem to understand why you are still having victory, rewards, recognition, and success. And it is because, like the Achilles heel, you are God's secret weapon. God has been placing you in many um, spaces and, and, and places and groups of people for you to shine your light. And unfortunately, yeah, you have sort of been like the, the human punching bag walking around. But look at here. This particular hierophant is sitting there like in disbelief. And this person is probably experiencing a, a disgrace, a fall from grace because nobody is listening to this person because someone here has been a false prophet they've been a fake this has been someone keeping up a facade for a very long time queen of swords and the heart from this taurus energy air energy libra aquarius gemini doesn't have to be but someone here definitely um could be someone here who is in the spiritual community whether um they consider themselves to be a prophet a reader or whatever i am picking up libra like energy but there's a tower here and it's like your energy is combating all of this negative energy that this person has been sending towards you there is someone who is for sure um i feel here in our spiritual community also people in your community there there has been a lot of planning behind the efforts to sabotage you in your life like i there's there's groups like there's legions i will say of demons well it's like there's somebody who who has been orchestrating things in your neighborhood and your your state your city like these are real communities of like gang stalkers um so you know when i hear people say that you know someone has been trying to ruin their life i believe it you know i I don't doubt it at all. So those of you who leave the comments and you think that you're not being heard, I hear you. That's the reason why some of the messages, sometimes they can be a little bit um, negative or disheartening. But the, this is real life. This is the stuff that some people are going through um, 100%. So I don't know. You guys just hang in there. Like I said, um, this, this, this energy is different because it's not something where... Um, you know, obviously even when Jesus was betrayed, you know, we all have that Judas energy around us and let's all just take the time to be thankful that this energy is being exposed and that you're being protected. Um, I didn't know what was going to come out. Like I said, I, I shared some of the downloads that I received and it was just small symbols, but when I put everything together, it all kind of represents different things that I feel we're all going through. But when I saw that ritual killer in 50 to one, I was like, wow, this means like th this is a group. Okay. This is an entity. This is a business an organization that is going against something, but there's a ritual or, or something here that has, um, been destroyed. Okay. For some, it's literally been like some type of sacrifice and it did not work. Because of your Achilles heel, you are God's secret weapon. God literally has used you and your ability to love and to shine your light in darkness to completely destroy things 
that have been placed in your path to destroy you, okay? So you have the Hermit card here. I think someone has for sure been permanently removed from your energy, from your auric field. Um, all access has been denied is what I'm, I'm getting here. This is Virgo energy, the Page of Swords. Yeah, look at that card. Whatever someone has sent out, it is being returned to them tenfold. Um, somebody here is like out. They've been ousted from a group. I feel like someone is receiving a lot of backlash. There's some kind of smear campaign. Whatever type of bad energy someone has sent out towards you, they're receiving it. Or people who were willing to participate in any type of low vibrational energy when it came to you, they're receiving all of it. It's like every single person who was involved in trying to sabotage your life or cause blockages or delays in any way, they are all receiving their energy back, okay? Someone is now completely, this hermit, this person is left completely out in the cold. They're trying very hard right now to try and like fend for themselves and figure out what are they going to do. But the page of swords, I feel like all of the energy that this person sent out, all of the flying monkeys, all of the agents of the devil, every single demon or anything that this person has sent out, it's all being returned to them. Yeah, high priestess, because somebody decided to spiritually battle a, a an earth angel, a high priestess, the tower, and this calls a tower. Yeah, the fool. Somebody here, they, they literally jump to their own end they jump the gun here for sure I, I i feel like you know i i said what i had to say the cards is just confirming that a lot of you you don't have anything to worry about please try to rest the energy is going to be yeah um the queen of wands is here but in the reverse try to rest um some of these attacks, that's the reason why today I didn't do a reading. I just went out, you know, try to go out. Don't be stuck, you know, standing idle for too long. Continue to get out and about, live your life. The, the, the truth is, is that all of these attacks is mainly just trying, like God is trying to get you to see that just like God, you will continue, you will rise again. Okay. Your energy, you will resurrect. Like, no, they can't take you out. Okay, so there's no need for you to fold. You will have victory and success here. But I do feel someone here has put forth their absolute best efforts in trying to sabotage you, and it has not worked. And, and now someone is going to be receiving massive amounts of karma. Strength card here in the Queen of Wands is in the reverse, so there could definitely be a fire sign here. That has been watching you, stalking you, spying on you. This could be your um, someone that you were in a connection with, or this could be someone that someone you are connected to or about to connect with is currently in a connection with. There's some type of lover here, whether it's a lover from in your life or in the life of someone that you are connected to or about to connect with. Someone here has done a lot of spiritually spying. It, it, there's an obsession here. The world, I'm getting worldwide well. So somebody has for sure been watching you online a lot. The King of Pentacles is here, but it's in the reverse. All right. Somebody here has possibly spent a lot of money watching you and sending various people towards you to try to sabotage you, to hurt you. Yeah, justice is being served at this time. King of Pentacles. Hmm. So we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Pentacles here. And look, there's the Queen of Swords, but she has her mirror up. This is speaking of illusions here. The high priestess, somebody was able to see that someone was playing both sides or someone was sent in. Someone here was not who they appeared to be and someone was able to see right through this. Somebody definitely tried to come in, I feel though, to make you think that you were crazy. And I've been talking, look at this rushed in i've been talking about this jezebel energy these people whether male or female they rush in very very quickly to try to seduce you love bomb you seduce you trick you um these people are sent by satan himself okay it's like satan is assigning demons 
to you these people they come in and they appear to be every single thing that you want but like i said if a person is meant to be in your life long term whatever they don't have to play games somebody here um is, is either playing like they have more than what they have or they're playing like they don't have much but somebody definitely when it comes to what they are able to offer you as far as tangible assets, there was a lot of trickery and illusions here. I do feel like somebody definitely was trying to use a lot of <laughs> psychology, reverse psychology, various, um, I just talked about this, laws of power, the art of seduction, the art of war. Somebody here feels like they are... Um, like well versed and well learned but they didn't realize though that they were dealing with the high priestess the high priestess is here with the scorp with the tower card next to it some of you definitely um could have scorpio heavily aspected in your chart but the tower when i think about this scorpionic energy here the high priestess and the tower card this is no matter how many towers come about you can see the truth through all of the illusions and the lies Okay, Scorpionic energy representing death, rebirth, and transformation. Like, even if someone slightly gets you off of your path, you still, like I said, you're going to resurrect. You're going to see the truth here. There's going to be some type of divine intervention that's going to make you aware of the fact that somebody here is not in the upright. Someone is lying. Yeah, somebody rushed in towards you. Knight of Wands. This is this night energy. Somebody rushed in, rushed in. Because here, somebody was being controlled by something, I feel. The, with this judgment card here, it's like someone was being controlled by someone else who possibly had eyes on you. And here's the judgment card again. So you have the judgment out here twice. All right. Somebody here ignored a warning. It, it, somebody for sure, and I've been saying this for weeks. Somebody knew that they should not have done something to you. And they still move forward with it or they sent somebody else in to try and do the work. But it doesn't matter who comes against you when you're in this high vibing energy that many of you are in right now. Somebody really, really thought that you were weak. Your weakness, though, is God, God is saying your what what man sees as your greatest weakness. God gave that to you as your greatest weapon. Somebody didn't realize that. That you were born chosen. <laughs> oh my God. The sun and the star. Look at this magician. Somebody here is like, wait. So magic doesn't work on this part. And I've been saying this for as long as I've been. Magic doesn't work on, on magic. Magic doesn't work on a, a supernatural, magical, divine being. It doesn't work. Queen of Cups, the devil. Somebody here was obsessed with trying to appeal to your emotions. Your lower chakras here. And I guess that they, they honestly thought that they were going to be able to get your gift or some kind of money. Something that they wouldn't even know what to do with. Look at how this person is on this, this horse with this pentacle. If this person were to get a, a dose of anything that you had, they wouldn't even know what to do with it. Because it's just not meant for them. So whatever type of entity that this person sent out to you to try to get you off of your divine course and path, now they're experiencing a major blowback. And look at here, the emperor's in the reverse and this contract here is completely over. Somebody here has literally ruined their entire life. I cannot make this of the star and the empress here. You're fully in your north node, fully in your life purpose. There is nothing here. And the king of wands is, this is an actual masculine or someone coming towards you. This for some of you, this is like a leader. This person is the leader of some type of I don't know, a like I don't know, like a cult, a coven, or something. This person, something about them is very spiritual or religious. And it's like this person, they're angry. Whoever this man, they're angry about the fact that you are divine, you're chosen. They they're this is really upsetting this person yeah because there's a gift that you're receiving as the empress something is on the way like i said somebody here was hoping that they will be able to stop something from coming towards you for a lot of you this is this could for sure be um like an ex-lover somebody here wanted to make sure that your actual divine 
counterpart, your God or dang spouse didn't make its way to you, but you have a partner that has been fighting with you in the spirit the whole time. And Archangel Michael has also been assisting greatly in protecting a divine union that is meant for you. Here's the page of cups. Even if someone tries to cause turbulence, in a divine connection or partnership in your person, even if they wandered off for a little bit, they're still coming in because they're going through an awakening. So what somebody did is they tried to throw a person off of their path so that they wouldn't make their way to you. What they did is they actually just trigger you and this person to go through an awakening. And now you're going towards high levels of commitment, marriage, security, stability, because now it's like God has both of you and your person, whether you know them or not, you're getting much closer to God because the enemy has done so much to attack you that it has forced the two of you into a spiritual awakening. So all I can say is that justice is being served in this situation. I'm I'm very happy right now that in the message, it's not a bunch of doom and gloom. A lot of you, you already know a lot of the stuff that is happening or I feel like God is, is really saying, though, you don't really have to worry about it. What you should focus on is the fact that so much victory, success, so much, you know, rewards and recognition is coming towards you. Because whatever this is, this is being cleared out, whether it's past life stuff, it's ancestral trauma, past relationships, friends, family, lovers, whatever it is, it's being cleared out. OK, here in Aries season with this full moon in libra this is just divine justice it's like here you can see it also this goes back to i feel like too the the true like kingdom spouses twin flames or whatever you guys are working together even when your backs are turned to one another to capture the devil and it's this jezebel spirit here that's been lurking in the background for the longest here trying to stop you from being free and liberated somebody just didn't want you to get out the matrix so when you had this awakening it's like someone here is trying so hard to stop or block you from having this ascension because for a lot of you this king of cups here who will be the counterpart to this queen of cups somebody is waiting to be with you and they're standing 10 toes down and ensuring that they can come towards you. This person is protecting whatever new beginning the two of you have together. And a lot of you are going to say, oh, well, I'm not worried about love. And I understand that if, if it's not love for you, it's still it's you defending your own and protecting your own honor or whatever you want to build for yourself. But for many of you who do want to actually go into a physical union with a, a partner, whether it's business, romantic or whatever, there's been a lot of blockages and delays that are finally coming to an end. Look at the bottom of the deck, the high priestess, because you were able to see yourself finally. You're going into union with yourself. It's your Achilles heel. Please tell me in the comments if any of you guys have been feeling heel pain, because I promise you, I know there's no reason for my heels to be hurt. <laughs> like, I've been waking up for like the last three days and the heels of my feet have been killing me. I'm like, what is this? And I think that it's because for a lot of us also, again, just thinking about your feet, that's how you move from place to place. It's your stability, it's your security. There's tons of nerves in our feet. Um, it just has a lot to do with our journey. And I think also too, the reason why I feel that is even as an empath, so many of us, we're so, our journey, we've carried so much on our back that even down to the, the heels and the soles of our feet, it's just a heavy, heavy energy. And it's being removed now, I think. I feel that a lot of the dead weight is being removed, but I also can feel that a lot of people are grieving as well because with these endings, especially some of these people in these communities, these entities, organizations, secret groups or whatever, who have come after you, the truth is a lot of the people who are guilty and responsible for the heartache, the pain and the agony in your life, they were people who you were loyal, faithful, committed to, dedicated to, who you genuinely loved. But again, you were God's secret weapon. So before you could move forward, you had to find out who was, you had to test them. They had to be tried and, and you had to find out who was true. So it is still very hurtful to find out that 
the person that you love the most has been the person that was behind, you know, behind most of the, the drama in your life. That's hurtful. Um, Cause these are people that no matter what they've done, you still can't find it in your heart to, I'm just going to strongly, strongly dislike them. And that that's sort of like been what your weakness, cause they took your, your kindness for granted and they took it as weakness. It's just you weren't built or created to be dark. But I, I think that um, there are great things ahead for you. No need to dwell on this too much. Um, here's the, I have two different Moonology decks here. I see Unity and the Ace of Wands. This is a tarot deck here. It's not supposed to be here, but the Ace of Wands is here. The Nine of Swords, Unity, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of juggling here. I feel like the people who um, were so passionate about trying to cause you stress, fear, and anxiety, they're experiencing a lot of, um, they're gonna experience a lot of hardships and delays in their life for going against you in this way. Something, it's just, this is, you know, Libra energy. The scales are being balanced. I hope that a lot of you are feeling calm and at peace because that's the energy that I'm sensing. Even though so much is happening in the background, if you're in alignment, your protection, you should be feeling very at peace. Just knowing that, you know, you haven't done anything wrong. You know good good karma is coming. You haven't done anything wrong. Some of you feel like, well, the worst thing I could have ever did was love that person. But again, that's your Achilles heel. It says, you know, a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. We have a full moon in Libra right now, but Cancer and Libra could be significant. There could have been something that happened um during the full moon in Cancer last year, the new moon in Libra, I will say that I feel that a lot of things that happened last year during the new moon in Libra, especially around like Halloween, a lot of those long ongoing rituals that have been done, that stuff is backfiring now. What you see happening with this karmic justice now is years of karma, gang stalking, rituals, magic, black magic, bad juju and everything. It's all being balanced out now. And everybody is getting their, their just due. You have to pay what you weigh. So like I said, with my heels, like if you've been out here doing a bunch of crap, you have to, you got to pay for that. And some of you, it's like, you've been carrying other people's mess for so long that <laughs> it's almost like for some of you, you're going to feel such a relief that it, it, it's such a relief that it's almost painful. I, I feel like this release, it's painful because it's very bittersweet. Like something is becoming lighter, a lighter load for you, but you're being forced to let go of something that you probably never would have wanted to let go of, or let go of someone that you wanted to hold on to forever and always. Yeah, your commitment is being tested 100%. Just continue to love yourself. Have faith in your dreams. Yep. You are good enough. Give me one more. Please. Oh. Okay, I asked for one more. I got like five more. I'm not going to take... Well, look at the bigger picture. Don't let your past hold you back. Confidence is your key to success. It's time to release negativity and adjustments are required. Nothing will come of this situation... Um, I think that, so we have here meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces and full moon in Aries. Um, I feel like for some of you, there is definitely something going on with like this Pisces Virgo energy though. They're opposites. Um, but 
I don't know what is happening astrologically, but it's something very specific with Pisces and like Virgo. Pisces being at the very end and then Virgo, like I said, being, I, I think that the best way I can put this is like, you're at the end, very end of a karmic cycle where now it's like, yeah, you know, your commitment has been tested. Now you have to make certain adjustments, but spirit is saying nothing will come of this situation. If you are wondering right now, if you did the right thing, if you made the right choice, I think that your answer is yes. I think for a lot of people right now, because you made such a drastic decision, which is simply choosing yourself. And that that's very new to a lot of people. You may be wondering if you did the right thing, but Spirit is saying believe in the impossible. There was something that you needed to release. Your hard work is paying off and the answers that you need are coming. You just have to continue to work through your fears. Some of you have been faced with some really big tests. I know I have. Really big tests. And it's sort of like God is saying, if, because everybody thinks they're always just being tested with bad things. But sometimes this God testing you too. It, it's not just, oh, the devil is, you know, my enemies are working against me. How, um, how committed were you to being a faithful, humble servant throughout your entire journey? Did you give up? Did you continue to, to live a set apart life? You know, I, I know for sure like this Jezebel energy that's been out, a lot of people you're you're probably being um presented with all these different karmic energies and that's your commitment to yourself and your higher self being tested because it's like before you're given exactly what you want all of this negative energy from your past is going to be thrown at you to see are you serious about moving forward because now some of you like I said, you have to close the chapter you have to, not just, check, you have to close the book and burn it. Especially a lot of you who have been, you know, my twin flame, this, my, and I'm just going to say it and be honest. This whole twin flame, a lot of you, these are not twin flames that you've been dealing with. These are extremely karmic soulmates. Their, their, their job in your life was to try to destroy you. And holding on to such like all of this faith and such high hopes and belief that this is going to be your everything instead of you trying to get closer to God and tap more into your higher self, it has caused delays. And it's like, now you have to learn how to fight for what you truly want, which means facing yourself. Like you are the spiritual assassin. You're the like that on what I saw on my phone on the TV earlier, the ritual killer. And it's literally, it's 50 to one here. 50 to one. And next to it is the ritual killer. You cannot make that up. I, I, I was like, God, please give me a sign. And then I went out and somebody literally followed me. That person, that person could have hurt me. You know, that she really could have hurt me. She felt like her anger was worth her following me and like I said let's face it we all watch the news that situation could have ended really bad she could have hurt me I could have hurt her but that's the that's the point when people get so far gone with their obsession and their anger where they lack all control that's the type of stuff that happens and it just goes to show how easily something can escalate I don't know what that part, what she's going through in her life. But you know what? In the moment, I had to just have mercy and grace because I was like, I'm just thankful that when we both pulled our windows down, that I still made it home today. And it's a good thing that she made it home because there are situations just like that where people lose control and both parties don't make it home. I'm just calling it like I like seriously, you got because that's the kind of energies that we're dealing with. The obsession and the rage and the, the, these 
different demonic energies that are out here just like people in my comment section lately have just been attacking the collective and the messages like everybody wants to have a voice now and these demons like they want to be heard because they know that we're in eclipse season and they won't exist much longer this is just the beginning this is just this is just the beginning of what's really about to happen. Like time is completely up. And trust me, your enemy, they know that. New moon in Cancer. And it says, keep first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. And what's peeking underneath that is leave the past behind. So it, it's, it's a heavy, heavy emphasis here on leaving the past behind. And like I said, it's very bittersweet. Because some of you are going to have to leave behind friends, family. See the bigger picture here. Your friends, your family, your lovers, some of these people, they are a tool in your ascension, meaning they are karmic. They were only in your life to teach you a certain lesson. They are not meant to go through life with you. There will be no peace, no harmony, no joy, no bliss, or anything with certain people in your life. Practice gratitude. Um, last quarter moon in Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is their earth angel, shaman, um, sage energy. Like that's water and fire. That that's alchemy. It's transmutation. It's seeing the bigger picture. Just like I said today, I that person I pulled over, but I feel like in a way, in a in a spiritually symbolic way. There was me being able to confront all of my enemies in that particular interaction. And it's like, if you're watching me, you're monitoring me, you're gang stalking me at the end of the day, <laughs> may God be with you. Because I didn't do anything to you. Even if you feel like I did, because even today, like I said, I'll be completely honest. I, I didn't yield as much as I should have. But was that a reason for her to follow me for 10 minutes? These are people who, by you simply just doing basic things in your life, they're just, they're, they're irritated with, with your existence. So they have made it their point and mission to attack you in any way. But just like I said, the moral of the story is you don't know who you are attacking. She didn't know who I was when she pulled up on me like that. Because I'll be honest with you. And, and this is real interesting because the spirit is bringing it to me right now. Last night when that storm was happening, I had a dream of a car crash. She still may not have made it home for what she chose to do to me. And that's the truth. Don't pull up on me, please. I, I'm really trying to spare you. Please don't ever think that I'm the one for you to pull up on. And I don't have to ever pull out a weapon or anything. Don't pull up on me. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you already know when you're protected, I'm not the one. Not the two, not the three. Don't pull up on me. Don't do it. Like that ritual killer. 50 to, it's 50 of you to, to one of me. Don't do it. Trust the universe. See the bigger picture. Practice gratitude. I'm happy I made it home. I kept my heart open. A lot of you be happy. You made it home. You made it to this point, despite everything that has happened, you made it here. And it's very easy to focus on the bad, but you made it just like today. I was out all day and I had a beautiful day. That happened and I, I realized, you know what? Easter's in a few days. There's things happening in the, in, in, in the world astrologically, energetically, there's a lot happening. The Judases, they're out there. And I was like, you know what? It's all good. Maybe she made it home. Maybe she didn't. But I know I made it home. 
Here I am talking right now. 2.06 a.m. So, I don't know, you guys. You all know I get a little chatty at night. It's, it's late night, but I really do hope that um, you are practicing gratitude, staying grounded. I shuffled in this dark. This card still came out. And here's the Sagittarius energy is very significant. I feel like for some of you, by the time Sagittarius season comes around, your life is going to be very different. All you need to focus on is leaving the past behind, leaving behind even the old version of yourself. Um, when you allow yourself to constantly meditate and contemplate and think about past situations or any situation, it's like you are giving that energy more momentum. The more that you free yourself from these situations and you confront things, like I said, you really search for your own voids and vices and find out what your Achilles heel is. It destroys the different entities or the spiritual attacks working against you. The whole point is for you to see your strength and to still be able to practice gratitude because what these people want you to do is they want you to stop fighting. They want you to self-destruct. They've done everything. Sagittarius, one, two, three. Sagittarius is out here three times. See the bigger picture. Practice gratitude and believe in your good luck. Something is changing. But again, this is you using your own ancient wisdom this is you transmuting energy practicing gratitude seeing the bigger picture trusting that the divine that god the universe it has something more for you greater is is coming so um overall i just think this was you know a good message. I, I hope that, you know, me sharing just the, the, the symbols and, and, and downloads that I received today, that it, it will help. But I, I and I, I think it makes perfect sense, like I said, practicing gratitude, because honestly, what that lady did to me, it really startled me. I won't lie to you because I was like, wow. But I've had a lot of people following me lately. So as the collective talks about, like, I, I'm totally a victim of it. I'll say it here on my channel. It happens a lot. I just so happen to be able to read it and know when it's happening. But I know everyone hasn't reached that point. So um, I'm praying for those of you who, you know, are victims in certain situations because you don't your discernment isn't as keen for you to know you know when certain trickster energies are coming towards you but it, it'll you will develop over time <laughs> synchronicity is the spirit message that came out and it says are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time people and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence in reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Wow. Is that not what I just said? <laughs> like I said, you have, people in your life are tools for your ascension, whether they come in with good or bad intentions. They come in with a lesson to help you to tap into your higher self and even your own ancient wisdom to figure out your Achilles heel. This it all makes sense. People come in to break you down only to fit like you have to make the decision to fight back. Can y'all believe that? Soul solitude. It says your soul needs attention. There are moments when it's important to get away, not just from the noise of the outside world, but to find a place where your soul can experience peace and quiet, a place for soul solitude. This is a time to pause, a time to reflect, a time for you. Y'all today, <laughs> and here at the bottom, self-sabotage. I was like, you know, I really want to do a reading. I'm like, it's a full moon today. But God was like, 
spend time with yourself. There was a storm last night that came out of nowhere. I had crazy, crazy dreams. All right, and I saw some bad stuff in my dreams. I don't have nightmares, honestly. But I was like, what does all this mean? And then the Achilles heel thing, Easter, Esther, like so much stuff came to me. And it, this is all the synchronicities. But when you tap into yourself, you get to figure out how God is communicating with you in different ways. A lot of people, they don't unplug from this matrix, from the stress, the fear, the anxiety, and the paranoia. But honestly, let's think about it. That's what these secret societies, cults, covens, gang stalkers, that's what they want you to do. If you're so, you know, paranoid, honestly, and living in fear, you can't even recognize what the synchronicities in your life, what they mean. If you're even receiving them, that's what they want you to do. They want you to also fear being alone. A lot of these very narcissistic energies. Now that a lot of you have freed yourself from this toxic cycle of codependency, they are pissed off that, you know, you're actually okay with being isolated. Because now you're not even allowing them into your life for them to feed off of you. So everything that they've done has backfired. Self-sabotage. It says, when you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's the inner voice that details those carefully woven plans. That's what I'm saying. It's to keep you this, this fear factor. Self-sabotage. Always thinking about the past. Oh, well, this last person hurt me. That that job didn't work out. They want you to feel like a victim all the time, and you're not. So it's time for you to cleanse. And then we have hit the gratitude card. What did I say earlier? Self love. That's why I don't even know why I got those um, pink roses and stand your ground. Is here. Breathe. I'm just gonna read these just as um, some spiritual messages, and I guess we can all go to bed. I'm gonna upload this in the morning so everyone will see it. It says your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car clean, the house or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. Self-love is here. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. Like I said... Even practicing gratitude is going to get you so far because people, they would love to see you self-sabotage and just strongly dislike yourself because honestly, they don't like themselves. It says life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance and stand your ground is here. Standing your ground is an empowering confidence building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. Oh, that's beautiful to close out the message. So like I said, there's a lot of spiritual tests here. You need to cleanse, clear your energy, your home, car, but especially your mind. Know that despite everything that has happened to you, you are not damaged goods. You are not a victim. All right. Um... The universe is communicating with you in a, in a lot of different ways. And a lot of you are probably going through some type of ascension right now. Another one. They've been sort of coming back to back. Allow yourself to make sure that you are prioritizing yourself and your spiritual hygiene. So that when God will speak to you, when the universe speaks to you, that you are getting the signs, symbols, and the synchronicities that you need. It's to assist you on your journey. And, and you have to figure out in your path, how are you being communicated? I didn't understand that Achilles heel thing this morning. I was like, okay, well, like, you know, in a, in a state of self-sabotage, you know, I do this wrong. I do that wrong. Like, I can tell you all my weaknesses. And God was like, but despite all of that, this is something that you've done or that you're doing. Give yourself a little bit of grace. All right. Don't allow the memories or past, even your own mistakes. Don't let that stop you because this self-sabotage energy, you have to let that go. Because if you're in a, oh, wow, 
Thanks, spirit. If you're in an energy of self-sabotage, you will attract the energy of these different groups that focus on sabotaging others because they feel like they've already sabotaged themselves. All right. So just stand your ground. It's time for you to breathe and leave the past behind. You guys, I think that this was a good overall message. The scales are being balanced. The karmic contracts are up. Good things are coming towards you. Look at the bigger picture. Um, God, the universe, your angels, your guides, ancestors, they're communicating with you in new ways. It's just a lot is happening. Try not to focus on the negative. Don't just try. Make it a point. Make it a habit. Do not focus on the negative. I've been telling you guys for months, even around these full moons, you already know people are going to send out a bunch of crazy energy. Like myself today, I don't care if you what you do. Don't sit in the house and let people try to destroy you energetically. Just don't do it. You know they're going to try it. And okay, so what? Don't allow yourself to even be available to receive that type of energy. So... You discovering your secret weapon was the reason why you went through what you went through. Because God is saying you are his secret weapon. But he needed you to find out what your Achilles heel was. So, I don't know, y'all. I'm proud of this message. Like, it's late, but <laughs> today has been a good day. I'm, I'm really hoping that everybody is finding... Um, great strength in their weakness just like i talk about understanding that there's a lot of strength in being vulnerable you know being able to say that you don't know something or you don't understand something or admitting that something has hurt you but still choosing to be the victor instead of the victim that's so important i think it's just it's time for all of us to start singing a new tune right <laughs> 